Hello, welcome to Stanley X Training Club. Today, we are going to talk about Stanley X Patching. Stanley X Patching provides the capability to update current Stanley X systems before the next major release. It can be used for bug fixings, security enhancement, feature enhancement, and so on. First, let's make a Stanley X patch. Before making a patch for a deployed Stanley X system, we need to understand its software version. We can run system show to check the field of software version, or we can check the build info file under etc folder. Then, we need a code base to build updated RPMs and the patch. Make sure you're using the right code base for the specific software version. Before building packages for the updated RPM files, make sure the TIS patch version is also updated. Only a version updated RPM file can be patched into a Stanley X. When all the RPMs are ready, we can use the patch build tool provided in STX update project to build a Stanley X patch. Read the help to understand all options of a patch build, then we can start to build our example. In this example, we will specify the patch ID as 0001 and the software version as we checked before. And we will specify this is a reboot required patch as there are changes in the kernel. Then describe the detailed changes in this patch and then specify the new RPM files to be updated to controllers and workers. We also have options to update the RPMs to all nodes or to controllers, or workers, or storages only. Wait for a while, and the 0001 dot patch is generated. Now we are ready with several patches. We will try to patch them into a duplex deployment. The first step is to upload the patches to Stanley X using swpatch command. The first patch is uploaded successfully, but there is a failure when uploading the second one, this is caused by a version conflict. This is why we need to update the TIS patch version at build time. So this time we have to skip this patch. And then the third patch is also successfully uploaded. We can check what we have till now with SW patch query and all the patches are in available status. And we can also check the details of the patches we uploaded with SW patch show like this. Besides the patches, we also need to understand the status of the Stanley X hosts. We can do it with SW patch query hosts. In this list, we can learn that all the hosts, including controller 1 and controller 0, are patched with the latest patch list, and there is no require for reboots. In other words, everything is good and there is nothing to be updated. In order to make some changes, we will apply a patch. This operation will add the patch into the current patch list. Now the status of 0001 becomes partial apply, and the status of hosts are also changed. No for patch current and yes for reboot required. So now we can use SW patch host install to install the patch list to a specific Stanley X host. But as in our example, the 0001 patch is a reboot required patch. A lock unlock is needed for the host to be updated. In this case, we can do the following operations. Lock controller 1. Install the patches on controller 1. Unlock controller 1. After controller 1 becomes available, do a host swagged and let controller 1 be the active controller. Then do the same patch install steps for controller 0. After the installation done on all hosts, the status of the patch becomes applied. While the hosts are all on the good status and the related RPMs are successfully updated. All these operations can also be done on Stalin X dashboard, which is even easier to understand. We can check the uploaded patches in the software management panel, and we can also upload the patches here. We can check the details of the patch and easily apply the patch with a click on the Apply Patch button. 
Then let's move back to the host inventory panel. And the status of the hosts becomes not patch current. Then we can install patches on the hosts one by one. After that, the patch will become applied. Thanks for watching. See you next time.